my name is Jessica Newell. I am a senior communication studies major. Um, so this is my last year, class of 2022, and I have minors in Spanish and women and gender studies. So it was kind of a multi-step process. So my freshman year, first semester, I took honors intro to women and gender in perspective, which is the foundational course for the minor. Um, and I thought it was so interesting. I was learning a lot. I was really engaged with the material. We got to read The Handmaid's Tale, which is really big in pop culture right now. Um, so it was definitely on my radar for a while. And then um, fast forward to about a year later, my friend said, hey, Jessica, like, did you realize that you're already taking a bunch of these classes that count for the minor? And I looked over it and realized that I had taken a sociology course already that counted. I had taken the foundational course. There were other honors courses. And so I was already halfway done. And there were a few more that counted towards my degree in communication studies as well. So it was gonna be really easy to work it in and kind of double count the credits. So I went for it. Women's and Gender Studies is really an interdisciplinary field, meaning that it touches on subject areas from a lot of other fields. So there's sociology, psychology, it can even get into literature and um, like film and television studies. And what it's really looking at is how we construct gender in our society. So what we think a woman or a man or a transgender person or a non-binary person should look like and act like and kind of these symbols that we have in our cultures and how we came to create that meaning. Um, so for me, it was particularly easy to add the minor because my advisor for communication studies is actually on the advisory board or something for the women and gender studies minors. So she had authority in the system to just declare that right for me. Um, but if she hadn't had that connection, it would have been as easy as expressing my interest and just getting into contact with somebody who could. But it took a day or two um, and then it was done. And now I'm already done with the minor heading into my senior year. So I think my favorite course would have to be Images of Gender and Popular Culture, which I took with Dr. Julie Haynes, partly because I love Dr. Haynes. But the course allowed us to look at a lot of the everyday things that we're reading and watching right now. So we looked at Queer Eye, which is one of my favorite Netflix shows, and we talked about The Bachelor, which is not one of my favorite shows, um, but I understand that it's important to people. And it really made me think about what I am consuming you know, right now in this modern day and how it's impacting my perception of gender and maybe how some things could be harmful um, and how we could also be more responsible with depictions of gender. So I'm looking to specialize in public relations and I think that my ultimate goal might not be step one, but would be to start my own PR firm and serve a female clientele. I would love to help promote female small business owners and kind of do their public relations for them, help them grow their presence. And I just think that my minor will help me be informed about the society that I'm trying to market these women into um, and just kind of cover all my bases with that. Right, so a few months ago, the uh, director of the Women's and Gender Studies program, Dr. Melissa Clapper, emailed the minor list and said that the New Jersey Women's and Gender Studies Consortium had a thing called an internship grant. And you could apply for this if you were completing an internship in the fall that was related to gender studies. And I just conveniently this year happened to be doing an internship related to gender. So I will be working for the new Center for the Advancement of Women in Communication here at Rowan University. Um, we did kind of a soft launch of the center last year, but this year we're really hoping to go forward with a lot more programming, bringing in um, women in business, like CEOs, you know, top women in their field to do like some podcasts um, and just a lot of great programming to really empower women in my field. So I applied for it to see if I could get some funding for myself and I did. I won. I was really excited. Um, I wrote some essays for it. I got a letter of recommendation from Dr. Haynes and now I get to have a little stipend to support my efforts um, and a great thing to add to my resume.
So I think one of the most important things I'd like to get across is that it's not just for women. Um, I notice that I think a lot of guys kind of shy away from it because they see the word women right in the front and they think, oh, maybe this isn't for me or maybe it's just going to be like a fight the patriarchy class, which like, yes, there is some of that. Um, but I think they don't necessarily see how they are 100% connected to gender too and that they also kind of don't benefit from a lot of the structures we have in society. There's a lot of toxic masculinity. Um, men are also often placed into harmful boxes of expectations. And taking these classes opened my eyes to that. And I think a lot of them would benefit from taking it too. So I would encourage men to also look into it.